Good morning, Israel. Good morning, believers. Good morning. It's your brother, J.D. Nija, Jeff Deloach. Word of Truth with Jeff Deloach, J.D. Nija, the Benjamin 144 channel. Um, no one's listening to these videos, so um, this is just me and the Lord sitting here in the morning um, <clears throat> talking <laughs> talking story and the story the story of the day is that there is a God his name is Yahweh the unspeakable tetragrammaton <clears throat> so if anyone tries to tell you his name is Yehoshua um, Jehoshaphat Yahawashai, whatever, they they don't know the Bible. His, he has a few names, but none of them are those. It's Adonai, it's Yahweh, it's um, the El Shaddai, it's the Tetragrammaton, the Yahweh Vave, Y-H-W-H, all caps. Basically, his name is holy. We're not supposed to be naming him anything, so... These people that say his name is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakadash. These guys are out of their friggin' Negro minds. Um, <clears throat> they're trying to push de demonology on you. Um, sorry, brothers. I I used to think you guys had something going, but now I know the only thing you guys got going is de is demonic nonsense. So take your Yahweh Shai Bahashamak and Kwam Yasharala and shove it up your you know where. Um, and our big brother, Solomon, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos, he's he comes in the volume of the book. The name is I I deliver, I save. That's that's Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit is that spirit that's gonna indwell the people that are gonna be saved. So, just saying. Um, so, I just opened. What I do here on this channel is I, I just open to the Bible and see what the Lord has to say. I'm not, I'm not one of these black Hebrew Israelites or one of these teachers, these biblical teachers, uh, Baptist, Methodist, Lutheran, whatever. Not that they don't teach better than these black Hebrew Israelites. At least they're trying to teach the Bible. They're just innocent and they don't know. They're they're ignorant of some of the things that the Bible says. So um, I open to Jesus converses with teachers. And this should be interesting because what we're seeing in these last days is a lot of people think they're teachers, and they're they're. Um, selling themselves off as teachers, but they're actually just um, false Christs. They're antichrists. They're trying to get you to believe things that aren't true because they're not teaching the Bible as it's written. And anytime you find fault with someone's teaching with the Bible, if it doesn't match up, then that probably means they're, it does mean that they're a false teacher and they're trying to get you to believe things that aren't true so that you'll be sucked down into the pit with the rest of the demons. So let's look at Luke 2, verse 41. Um, th and this is when um, Jesus' mother and his um, legal father, Joseph, um, went for the census and they were leaving they were leaving Jerusalem after the census and um, that's where we pick up the story now his parents went to Jerusalem every year for the feast of Passover and when he was 12 years old they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast and when they would had fulfilled the days as they returned the child Jesus tarried behind them in Jerusalem and Joseph and his mother knew not of it so this is more proof that these black Hebrew Israelites don't know what they're talking about when they say Joseph is the 
biological father of Jesus. If you if you hear someone saying that, if you hear someone saying that um, Jesus was born of the seed of Joseph, the sperm from Joseph, know that that is a complete heresy, a lie, um, a blasphemy, and run as fast as you can. Because if it would have been um, Joseph, his father, the Bible would have read, and the Bible is very careful in the way it's constructed so that you are not led astray. Because the Lord does not promote confusion. He promotes order. And so what this verse says is, they tarried behind in Jerusalem and Joseph and his mother knew not of it. If it was, if Joseph was his father, it would say his father and his mother. Joseph is not his father. So if these black Hebrew Israelite nincompoops, these ignorant, arrogant um, Pharisees try and tell you anything other than that, just know that they're trying to um, convince you of confusion and bla blasphemy. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinfolk and acquaintances. And when they found him not, they returned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of of doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. So the three days, the three days is similar to the three days that he was um, in the depths of the earth before he was resurrected. He was getting things straightened up, straightened out in the um, in the spiritual world before he came back as the um, the spirit of the Lord when he when he appeared to people throughout Jerusalem and throughout the, the country side, um, showing them that he actually had resurrected. But only the people that would believe on him, seeing him at, in his resurrected um, body, as, as, I, as far as I can, can tell, I don't think there was a lot of people, because even Thomas, um, when he saw him in his resurrected body, he doubted. And so... Um, there was there was quite a bit of doubters, and the ones that, that doubted probably couldn't see him. The ones that didn't believe that he was the Messiah, they probably didn't see him. Verse 47 of Luke 2, And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. Um. Mary only called Joseph his father because that is the only father that um, she could point to that was worried about him because obviously the Heavenly Father wasn't worried about him because he was doing the work of his father. And this is where, this is another example of how ridiculously gaslighting these black Hebrew Israelites are. They are, they're designed to, to mess up your mind. They're going to tell you lies and tell you that you, you just don't know. You just, you don't have the spirit. Because how does Jesus reply to his mother saying, Your father and I were worried about you. And he said unto them, How is it that you sought me? Didn't you know that I must be about my father's business? So, There's two different fathers going on here, right? So if he's telling his father, I must be about my father's business, he's saying, you're not, you're not my father, dude. Jesus tells, tells his, his mother and Joseph right to their face, that's not my father. I'm, my father is in heaven. So um, if you argue with these black Hebrew Israelites about this, and I've, I've tried to straighten them out, and obviously they're demonic they're evil, they're wicked, they're arrogant, they're um, small bus. They they either haven't learned or they're actually demons out here. I, I think, I'm starting to believe that they're demons. They're, they're wicked. They're of the devil. They're of Satan. They're of the left-hand energy. They're trying to get people to believe things that aren't true. And that's where I stand against them because I defend the, the Bible as it is. And um, when he says... 
I'm, I have to be about my father's business to Joseph. What do you think he's saying? It's pretty obvious that um, in, in Jesus's mind, um, the heavenly father is his father, not this Hoboken um, stand in Joseph that these black Hebrew Israelites, these um, these evil, wicked men of Belial, these um, followers of Satan are trying to get us to believe. So this Kanye West thing and this Kyrie Irvin thing, Hebrews to um, Negroes. No, it's Negroes to Negroes. They're just plain Negroes. That's all they are. It's a bunch of black ass devils. That's probably why they got burnt. Um, the Lord probably um, put pubic hairs on their head for a reason. Um, and uh, made their skin so dark that that um, you would know to stay away from them. So we, we're probably looking at um, some other things going on here about the Hebrew Israelites. And um, <clears throat> and I'm not going to go into that because I already got my other channel struck. But hey, if this one gets struck because I'm telling the truth, so be it. So um, And they understood not the same which he spoke unto them. They're, they didn't even get it. They're like, what do you mean? Who's your father? Because just like... Um, a lot of people don't realize the Heavenly Father is our Father. He gave birth to all of us. He is the Father of Spirits. People don't realize that to this day. And so when we, when I speak about the Bible, I'm speaking from authority. I'm not speaking from some um, corner. I'm not standing on some corner yelling at people about the white man's the devil and and all this stuff. The, the black man's probably the devil. I'm just going to do the same thing that they did. Um, we don't know who the devil is, but as far as I can tell from what I've been seeing for real, for real, with evidence, with empirical data, these black Hebrew Israelites are the devil. So when they say the white man's the devil, the white, maybe, maybe, yeah, how is I, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christo, Solomon, they actually were, he actually was a white, whitish looking guy. He was an Aryan. And so, um, I'm not pushing any kind of um, racial thing like they do because I don't believe that the Lord cares what color you are. It's the color of your black heart, you black Hebrew Israelites, that gives you away. It's the darkness of your spirit. Your skin is just a, a reflection of your dark spirit inside. So if you're light, if you have light, your whole body will be light. But if you're dark, oh, how dark is that darkness, right? And he understood them not, saying which he spoke unto them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and favor with God and man. So what did what did Mary do when she, when she heard all these things? She's like, I think I know what he's talking about. He's talking about when that angel came to me and said I was going to be blessed and I was going to be the mother of the vessel for the most high to, to bring forth a son. The angel told me that, but what did Mary do? She kept her mouth shut because that way these dumb Hebrew Israelite, um, nincompoops, these small bus, arrogant, ignorant Pharisees would, um, walk around this day trying to push this evil, wicked, um, belief system that Joseph was actually the, the, father of our savior. What kind of nonsense is that? I mean, you you can't even you can't even convince a stupid person of that. I mean, you can't even per, per get an imbecile to believe that. Not even a and that's what's funny is some of these Kanye West and Kyrie Irving, they're believing that nonsense. That's how that's how dumb. You might be able to earn lots of money, but that doesn't mean you know shit. You can dance around on the stage and, and sing about how much you hate your, your brother and you want to shoot him in the head and put him in a ditch and blah, 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 this rap stuff, this evil, wicked rap music that they that they throw on us. Or you can run around in the, on a basketball court and jump through the air like a uh, some kind of simian and be able to... Um, throw a ball through a hoop, but that doesn't mean you know anything. That, that's all you know. It's kind of like surfing. 
there's guys that can surf their ass off, but they're not very smart. And then there's guys like me that are smart and and surf. Um, let's see what John has to say to the multitude. And then said the mult. Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him. O generation of vipers, who has warned you to flee from the wrath to come? So these, so these black Hebrew Israelites, these these enemies of the cross, these enemies of our Savior, that's who John's addressing. He's addressing these weak-minded, um, evil-spirited, dark, um, black-hearted, um, melanated-skinned individuals that came out to see what he was up to and wanted to, um, wanted to, um, stand against him. Um, verse eight of Luke three, bring forth therefore fruits worthy of it, repentance and begin not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham as our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Um, what, what's he telling these Hebrew Israelites? He's saying, just because you're of Abraham, just because you're the seed of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, even if you are the seed of them, that doesn't mean you're guaranteed anything. He, John's saying, I could, he, the Lord could raise up stones to be saved. And these guys say the Gentiles can't be saved. These wicked, these wicked black Hebrew Israelites, these pharisaic, parasitic, followers of Satan and the Antichrist, they are pushing this, this false doctrine that Joseph is somehow um, the father of the Savior and his seed is the seed line of these crazy black Hebrew Israelites, these nincompoops, and they're the ones that are going to rule the kingdom. And they're, these guys are Antichrist, man. And now also the axe is laid upon the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore which bringeth not forth good fruit, is hewn down and cast into the fire. I've been going back to the Bob Marley song, um, I'm a Small Axe, and it's funny that this comes up, because if you've been, no one's listening to my videos anyway, but um, I've been playing that song for as my bumper music. I am a small axe, ready to cut you down. We're going to cut you down. These guys are going to fall. They are going to fall. It's just going to be a, a bigger fall than we thought. They're actually rising up into the um, upper levels of media attention through their through their just plain um, impetuous, um, proud, uh, nonsensical um, craziness. It just like the rest of the media, it's pushing out lies that that any fool is going to believe. And that's what we see. A lot of foolish people are going, yeah, they're right. They're, they're so right. I believe what they say. It's, it's, the, it's the Hebrew Israelites or the true Jews, blah, 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 not those people over there. You know what? This is, this is my take, YouTube. I, I don't have anything against anyone except if they talk against the Bible. I'm I'm a Bible scholar. I'm a I'm this is my religion. This is what I believe. That's this is only my belief. I'm free to have my own beliefs. Just like Hindu can talk about their beliefs, Buddha can talk about their beliefs. They can talk all they want. The black Hebrew Israelites can talk about their beliefs. All I can say is according to the Bible, and they're they're saying they, they believe in the Bible. So I'm arguing with them over the Bible YouTube bot algorithm. I'm arguing with them over the Bible because this is my belief. This is my religion. This is my God. And they're, they're blaspheming my God. And so um, whether they're blaspheming um, the God of the Jews, which is the same God, um, I, that's why I'm standing against them just like you are. Just like the world is standing against these guys. It's not right to claim something that's not true. 
and to and to be saying things about people that is blasphemous and when they say these things that they say it's wicked it's evil and something needs to be done these people need to be punished in some way or another um they can't be saying things that aren't true about other people that's called um what do they call that in legal tense you're slandering people and if you're slandering a whole group of people you black hebrew israelites you need to be silenced because you can't be out here lying about people and saying things that aren't true and i'm going to stand against you till the very end because you guys are obviously wicked evil demonic satanic there's a, it, as far as the bible goes the bible the bible would say you are these guys um, and the people asked him, what shall we do then? He answered and said, he that has two coats, let him impart one to him that has not. And he that has meat, let him do likewise. So I have the meat. The coat, the coat and the meat is um, the covering of the Lord and the word of the Lord. The meat is this is this word. So when we when he says, give him your coat and give him your meat, that means cover them with the truth and go to the to the scriptures and feed them with what the truth is. And that's what I'm trying to do against these um, black Hebrew Israelites that are starving people out with their nonsensical doctrines and their evil, wicked um, portrayals of, of the people of the book. Uh, Esau, he's, he, it's none of your business. It's none of your business, black Hebrew Israelites, what the Lord does with Esau. Esau is sovereign under the Lord. Just like Ammon is sovereign under the Lord. Just like Moab is solemn, sovereign under the Lord. Just like Israel is sovereign under the Lord. Just like the church is sovereign under the Lord. You have no business saying anything about any other people. And you had me, you had me believing that you guys had something going on. You have nothing going on. You guys are, are going to end up empty handed, without covering, naked and scared. Because you're so proud, so ignorant, so arrogant, so blasphemous, so her heretic, that when the Lord comes back, he you're going to be the first. You're going to be the first people that He goes after is the ones that came against His word, and that's you, you wicked motherfuckers. You are wicked. I believe you are the the wicked. So then in Luke, it goes through the genealogy all the way from, uh, <laughs> this is another interesting part, and then we'll close out, and I'm going to do another message probably, um, the genealogy of Jesus. This is how poorly these guys read. They probably, a lot of them probably never made it past sixth grade because they don't know how to read. They don't know literature at all. They don't know comprehension. They don't know. They 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 act like they're really smart, but actually they're they're stupid because they can't understand a simple sentence. And in Luke three twenty three, the genealogy of Jesus. It says right here, it's like, are you guys stupid? Are you stupid? Get back on the small bus. Go back to school. And when you pass sixth grade, maybe we'll talk about it. In um, Luke three twenty three, it says, and Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age, being, in, and then there's parentheses, as was supposed, the son of Joseph, which was the son of Heli. Um, and Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age, being, as was supposed. Supposedly, he's the son of Jesus. In reality, literally, he's not. It was supposed that because that's the way it played out. That's the way, that's why Joseph stood in for the most high and said, I'll, I will, I will pretend to be the biological father of Jesus as it is supposed. So everyone will suppose that I am the father. And that's why it says right here, as it was supposed, because it's, it's only a supposition. If you know what a supposition is, that's a theory. That's, that's what's, um, cast forth by people that don't know any, don't have the full information. A supposition is um, a belief based on something that is not fully informationally sussed out. So when it says 
being as was supposed, the son of Joseph. That means a lot of people didn't have the full information. And that's what these black Hebrew Israelites pretend that they don't, that they pretend that that Joseph is the father. They don't have the whole information because either they don't have the Holy Spirit or they're just wicked and they want to drag people into the pit with them. So watch out for these black Hebrew Israelites. This is Jeff Deloach, J.D. Nija, um, Word of Truth. This channel is Benjamin144. I'm probably going to download these over on um, J.D. Nija, um, Word of Truth. I love you, Israel. I love you, believers. Don't let these guys fool you. They're, they're setting themselves up to be the Antichrist. I'm out. Shalom.